All right, y'all, this is a FICA Sycamores, or also known as Sycamore Figs. Um, sometimes it's referred to as a Biblical Figs because this is the actual Sycamore tree that is mentioned in the Bible and not the American Sycamore that we know of. Um, the American Sycamore is actually not a Sycamore at all if uh, we consider the fact that the uh, the uh, the word sycamore is from the Greek words, which um, essentially mean um, fig mulberry. But uh, so this this species is native to Southern Africa area, and uh, it's it grows pretty quickly. I got this since it was a twig about this size, and it has grown quite a bit. Um, not huge by any means, but you know. You start to see like a little flare on the base right here um, really nice grayish uh, barks as it ages the foliage is also pretty attractive um, the leaves got kind of like a velvety texture to it because of all these little fine hairs which I don't know if you could see that but um, it's what caused the uh, leaves to have that really soft texture to it. Um, kind of similar to our edible figs or ficus caricas, but um, I think this is a little bit softer and obviously the shape is different. But uh, yeah, um, the leaves do actually get quite a bit bigger uh, than what it is now. Um, since the beginning of spring, it has produced a ton of branchings from as you can tell there's a lot of uh, branches growing and that's kind of reduced the size of the leaves but um, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and show you what some of the things I've been doing with the cuttings I took from this all right so this is one of the uh, rooted cuttings from the mother trees that I've just shown and uh, I kind of like twisted it so um, the plan for those little trees is to be used as bonsai and so I kind of twisted it into interesting shapes that's the nice things with starting with young materials because you can kind of really do whatever you want with it and you know add movement to it the way you want to and so I thought I'll just do something kind of a little more funky you know um, I do need to remove the wires here soon because it is cut into it. Like I said, uh, it does grow pretty quickly. So um, yeah, just watch out for it. But I'm excited to see uh, what it's gonna look like. Um, and I'll just make updates on it. I have a ton of other cuttings as well, but yeah.